All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over TradeWiz Telegram bot, showing you guys how to use it, how to set it up, what's new with TradeWiz. I'm going to treat this video as if I'm brand new to TradeWiz. If you are brand new and you want to sign up, you always want to use the official link. And I always have it down below in my video description, as you can see here. And as well, I usually pin it in the comments. All you have to do is click this link right here and follow the instructions to sign up. To deposit funds into your TraderWiz account, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to forward slash start. And right here, it will give you your deposit Solana wallet address. This is the wallet address you'll use whenever you're going to make a deposit. And conversely, if you want to withdraw from TradeWiz to click on wallet here, then you can click on withdraw soul. And then after you click on X soul, how much you want to take out and then put the wallet address you want to send it to and then click confirm. And that's it. Before showing you how to buy and sell on TradeWiz, there's a couple ways to do it. You do want to configure your settings. First, you go to forward slash settings, S, click on settings, and then you want to set up your fees. You click on fee here. And right now mine are set up for both buy and sell. And my buy tip and sell tip are at zero because I'm not trading with enough where I need anti-MF. And if you guys are ever confused, you can actually go to forward slash G and it will take you to the gas estimation, which will tell you what's considered low, which is nothing right now, medium, high, which we're, we're pretty close to, and very high. The rule of thumb, guys, if you're trading with a small balance, you're going to use smaller fees. Trading with a bigger balance, you're going to want to use higher fees to ensure that your transactions are quick and smooth. Next, we're going to take a look at slippage. When you click on slippage here, there's going to be four sections like this. Mine are set to 20% all around. The difference between buy slippage and buy pump slippage, and the same with sell, is that the buy slippage and sell slippage, that's for all Solana aggregators like Radium, Meteora, Orca, etc. Where the one that says buy pump and sell pump, that's only for pump fund coins. Let's say you only trade pump fund coins before they migrate. You want to set these accordingly. And to do that, you just click it and you can change it and you click it again and change it back. And for those that don't know what slippage is, I'll give you a really quick example. Let's say you're buying your token right now and your slippage is 20% and the coin is moving up and up and up drastically. It's pumping like crazy. And the moment you click buy, the coin moved 30 or 40%. Because your slippage is only set to 20%, your transaction will fail. Same thing goes for selling. Now you can decide if you want to turn your anti-MEP on or off. I have mine off right now because I'm trading with a smaller amount. I do recommend you turn it on by clicking it like this. If you are trading with like 0.5 Solana, Solana, the higher you're trading with, the more likely you're going to want to use anti-MEV. And as well, if you go to fees here, the buy tip for anti-MEV and the sell tip are automatically set by TradeWiz. This is their default settings. You can always adjust them to more if you're trading with a very large amount. And what is anti-MEV? I'll give you a quick example. If you're trading with like, let's say two Solana per trade and you don't have anti-MEV on, there are things out there called MEV bots that will detect your transaction and they'll beat you to your buy. They'll buy right before you do and they'll buy a crazy amount, like $5,000 worth of the coin. And the moment you buy, they'll sell it on you. They'll raise the price drastically. The moment you buy, they sell it. It's called getting sandwiched and your position is worth much less when you actually get in. You definitely want to have your anti-MEV on if you're trading with a higher amount. Now we have auto buy. This is a cool feature, but you got to be very careful with it if you have it turned on. So you turn it on, you put your auto buy amounts. I just put 0 0.01 for the example here. Whenever you post any contract address, it will automatically buy it. So let's copy this address here, put it in, put it in again, and you'll see it automatically bought it for us and we're going to get out. And that's how quick trade was this. We got in and out. That's what auto buy is. You got to re always remember if you have auto buy on that you have it on. And if you're going to paste an address, it's going to automatically buy it for you. Now, lastly, you have your presets. When you click on presets, this is like what you want to see when you're buying your coins. Let's say you're playing with a bigger amount. You can change this or a smaller amount. Let's say I want to do my first one to be 0 0.05. Then my next one will be 0 0.1. And then 0 0.2 here. And so it'll make sense in a sec. And then here, maybe we could do 0 0.2 four and here we can do maybe 0 0.6 or something like that we go back and then we go to sell presets and this is how much you want to sell let's say i want to sell 40 percent and we'll leave the 100 percent so now whenever i post a contract address you'll see these presets are saved so you can just click on it and it'll automatically buy whichever one you want 
And as well, if you want to do, you know, a different amount, you click on here and just put in a different amount. Now that we're happy with our settings, I'm going to show you two ways that you can buy and sell on TradeWiz. There's two ways to do it. You can do it directly on their app here. And I'll only recommend this method if you're doing like swing trades or longer term trades, you're not trying to buy and sell really quickly because they do have a trading panel and we'll get to that in a sec, which is amazing. Super fast, super quick. What you can do here is copy the contract address like I did here, paste it here. And we have our buy presets. Let's say I want to buy 0 0.01. We're going to put 0 0.01 here. Click enter. And now we can see we bought it. And now it's asking us if we want to sell. So we can sell 40%, we can sell 100%, or we can put a custom amount. We can do like 20%, for example, or we can just do 100%. And I'll just click it here just to show you guys. And that's how you buy and sell on the TradeWiz Telegram bot. The second way, and this is my most preferred way to buy and sell coins using TradeWiz for quick in and out trades is by using their extension. To get their extension, you want to click extension here, open it up on your browser of choice, and then you want to add it. I already have mine added. Now you can open it up here. I have it pinned on top. You're going to want to log in. So to log in, you're going to have to send the code to your TradeWiz Telegram. It's going to send you a code. You want to copy and paste that code back here, click submit, and you'll be logged in like I am. First thing you see here is the quick buy amount. And you can always change this. What that means is basically when you're browsing here, for example, on Photon on MemeScope, let's say there's a coin that just popped up and you have a good feeling about it. You can quickly click and buy it before even opening the coin. Next, we have our processor. I leave mine on auto. I have never had any issues, but you can play around with these other ones here, these other options. We can go to our settings now and set our presets. I already have small and new. These are my presets, but then you can make more. I'm going to make another one for the video. I'm going to call for a video. Here's where you put your buy amounts. Let's say I'm playing with a bigger amount. I'm going to do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Always put a comma after 0 0.75. And we can even do 1, 2, and 5, for example. And then in our sell, this is at the percentages you want to sell. Put 10, 25, 40, 50, 75, and then finally 100. And then because we are playing with bigger amounts, we're going to put a bigger gas fee here. And we're also going to put a buy tip so we don't get meffed by a mev bot. And we're going to put our slippage 20% all around. This is just an example. I'm not saying copy these settings. Click save. Now we have this preset made. When we go back to Photon, we can go and find a coin. I'm going to find a coin that died out. Big Bird. It died out. And I'm going to show you how this trading panel works. The moment you open up a coin, it'll instantly pop up here. And we're just going to buy a small amount. If you ever want to change your preset, you just click here and click on whatever preset you want to use. We're going to use my small one. And I'm going to buy 0 0.005. Click that. And we can see I just bought that right here. And to sell. And that's it. We got out. TradeWiz did recently add in this new auto trade feature where you can essentially snipe new pump on launch coins according to your settings here. You could also buy FOMO coins, which are coins that have already been traded for quite a bit. As you can see, the market cap is much higher here than it is here. For the new coin template, I'll show you how to set it up. We won't be getting into any trades today as this feature does need a whole video on it in itself. And I will be making videos about this in the future. Keep an eye out for that. Here's where you put your buy amount. You want to make sure you put the total buy amount and make them the same in order for it to work. Gas fee will change it to the one I usually use. And the buy tip and sell tip, I'm going to change to zero. And slippage is okay with me. Here is where you set up your settings. Max age of the coin, three minutes. I like to buy the newest of the new. I'm going to set this to one minute. Max market cap, 10K. A lot of these new coins, they'll go to 10K and then they'll rug. I want to buy in even earlier. I'll put 5,500. You might have to wait a little longer to get into a trade. Here you can change your settings. You can do one minute change in price by percentage. You can do five minute. You can also do five second transactions here. How many transactions in the last five seconds? How many transactions in the last one minute? You can also add in your take profits and your stop losses. Once you're happy with your settings, click create. And it's the exact same process for FOMO coin. Now we're going to take a look at auto sell. Here is where you set up your take profits and stop loss. So in order to do that, you can go here, click here. When the coin goes up by 40%, you can, for example, sell 25% of your position. 
Then when it goes up by 80%, the coin, you can sell maybe 50%. And then once the coin goes up by maybe 130%, you can get out completely and sell the last 25% of your position. As well, you can add and do a stop loss. In order to do that, you have to put a negative first. Let's say I want to put a stop loss of negative 30%, get out completely. You can do that and put 100% and just make sure you click this and make sure the green check mark is there. And that's how you know it's on. Just like in our settings where we have to set up our fees, we also have to do the same thing for auto sales. By default, these are the settings. I'm okay with the gas fee. If you aren't, you want to change that. But the tip I'm not okay with because I am playing with a very small amount. I don't need anti map. So I'm going to put this to zero. And my slippage is usually 20%. So I'm going to change it back to 20 here. You always want to make sure you change your settings accordingly. TradeWiz also has a trailing stop loss and you can change the percentage here. I have mine to negative 10 for the example I'm about to show you, but you can change it as you can see, just by typing in the number. To turn it on, you just click it and your trailing stop loss is now activated. Let's say you bought this coin at the blue line, that's at 10K. This is where you bought. Your trailing stop loss will be 10%. If it goes down to 9K, it will automatically sell. But let's say, you know, the coin starts going up and you start taking profits and it goes up to 20,000. Your new trailing stop loss will be at 18,000 because that's 10%. And the whole point of a trailing stop loss is to protect your profits. As the coin moves up, the trailing stop loss follows along with it. And let's say suddenly the coin starts to dump your trailing stop loss will be triggered and it will sell for you and get you out of that position immediately, protecting your profits. Let's say you want to buy a coin, but you want to wait for it to drop in price first. You can actually set a limit order on TradeWiz. So all you have to do is paste the contract address and then you can click limit order here. You can clearly see that this coin is at 1 million market cap. Let's say I want to buy it at 600,000, for example. You would click on sugar price and you would put 600,000. You could also set how much you want to buy. Let's say I want to buy 0 0.05. I'll click that here. I'll leave auto selling on blank. If I have my auto sell on, or if maybe I want to sell manually, click create order. And now your order has been created. We can actually take a look at the coin. It's nowhere near that. I'm just showing you as an example. You can also view your limit orders by clicking here. And let's say you no longer want to have this limit order open. You can just click close here and close it out. I'm going to show you a really cool feature that TradeWiz has. We're going to quickly buy this coin and sell it. We bought it. We sold it. TradeWiz actually gives you a rebate on your fees. To get this rebate, you want to click forward slash positions. Every time you trade, it accumulates a small rebate for the fees you spend. You click on claim a token account fee here. And as you can see, we just got back 0 0.002 Solana. So this is a really cool feature that TradeWiz has that most other bots don't. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our copy trade settings. And TradeWiz's copy trade settings are unmatched by any other Telegram bot simply because of the functionality they offer. And you'll see why in a sec. So you click copy trade, click add. On top here on where it says take, you could put in the name. This wallet that I'm copy trading has a 60% win rate. I'm going to put that as their name. Where it says target, that's where you put the wallet itself. Now here, let's say you want to buy the same amount each time. Let's say I want to buy 0.1. I'll put 0.1 here for min and for max. Now it's going to buy 0.1 every time. Total investment sold. Let's say I've never copy traded this wallet. I don't want to risk too much money. You can put how much soul you want to risk. So let's say I put 0.4. Because we're risking 0.1 Solana per trade, after four trades, it'll automatically stop copy trading them. You can also reset it by just clicking on it and typing reset. Next, if you go to each token buy times, let's say the wallet you're copy trading likes to buy a token more than once. Maybe they buy a token five times and you only want to buy their first buy and copy trade the first time they buy, you can click this and put it to one. And you only buy their first buy, you won't copy trade their other buys. Moving down the list, unrenounced, this is a safety measure. You want to put that on don't buy. Unburned, the liquidity has to be burnt. So you don't want the liquidity to be unburned, but don't buy as well. Moving down the list, you can play around with the market caps if you want to, minimum and maximum, if you have a preference there. Copy sells, this is if you want to copy the wallet sells. You can copy their cells and just get out completely, or you can sell by position ratio, which means if the wallet you're copy trading is good at taking profits and you want to take profits with them, you want to turn this one on and you will be taking profits with them. Next, we have auto retry. Let's say your first transaction failed. You can auto retry up to three times, which is a really nice feature they have here. Next, you can set up your gas fees here, your buy tip, sell tip, your slippage, 
and pump fund slippage. And also you can set up your own auto sell. Let's say you don't want to copy his cells. You can go to copy auto trade here and do a take profit and stop loss. Turn that on, add take profit and stop loss. And just like I showed you earlier with auto sell, you can add in your take profits and your stop losses and even add in a trailing stop and go back. Once you're happy with your settings, click create and that's it. Let's say you have another wallet, but you want to use the exact same settings that you have on this wallet. You don't have to enter it in again. You can just click on this wallet, click copy the settings, go here, put in the wallet address, put in a name, click create, and that's it. You don't have to enter the settings in again. Let's say you want to analyze a wallet. You can do that directly on Trade. You can just paste the wallet into the search bar here, click enter, and TradeWiz will generate you a report. You can look at the last 24 hours, how they did. The win rate has dropped and their PL is here. All of the trades they've been in last seven days, even last 30 days. And I'll show you all the stats. You can even get the transaction records by clicking here and it'll show you in more details. You can also analyze coins on TradeWiz. If you go to Smart Wallet here, you can click on locate smart money for a specific token, put in a token address here. Give it a few seconds and it'll give you the top addresses and the top traders. And you can potentially find new wallets to copy trade by doing this, by going through these wallets. If I click this wallet, for example, it'll generate the report and it'll show us its stats. This is a really cool feature TradeWiz has as well. In the smart wallet section, you can request, give me a smart money address. If you click this, it'll give you a wallet that it'll generate on its own. I already used my three that you get per day, but this is another cool feature that they have where you can potentially get good wallets to copy trade. We did just start our own Discord channel. You're welcome to join. The link will be down below for you in my video description. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.